reading from Isaiah chapter 14, starting at verse 3, And it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow, and from thy fear, and from the hard bondage wherein thou wast made to serve, that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon, and say, How hath the oppressor ceased, the golden city ceased. The Lord hath broken the staff of the wicked, and the scepter of the rulers. He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke, he that ruled the nations in anger, is persecuted, and none hindereth. The whole earth is at rest, and is quiet. They break forth into singing. Yea, the fir trees rejoice at thee, and the cedars of Lebanon, saying, Since thou art laid down, no feller is come up against us. Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. It stirreth up the dead for thee, even all the chief ones of the earth. It hath raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nations. And they shall speak and say unto thee, Art thou also become weak as we? Art thou become like unto us? Thy pomp is brought down to the grave, and the noise of thy vials. The worm is spread under thee, and the worms cover thee. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven, and I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit. And they that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee, and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake kingdoms, that made the world as a wilderness, and destroyed the cities thereof, that opened not the house of his prisoners? All of the kings of the nations, even all of them, lie in glory, every one in his own house. But thou art cast out of thy grave like an abominable branch, and as a raiment of those that are slain, thrust through with the sword that go down to the stones of the pit, as a carcass trodden under feet. Thou shalt not be joined with them in burial, because thou hast destroyed thy land and slain thy people. Thy seed of evildoers shall never be renowned. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. For, for I will rise up against them, saith the Lord of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name and the remnant, and the son and the nephew, saith the Lord. I will also make it a possession for the bittern and pools of water, and I will sweep it with the basin of destruction, saith the Lord of hosts. The Lord of hosts hath sworn, saying, Surely as I have thought, so shall it come to pass, and as I have purposed, so shall it stand. Powerful words. The description of Leviathan, or that old serpent, the devil, as he appears as God, trying to rebel, and he did rebel, drawing a third of the angelic host, that those that had never sinned, angels, he drew them with him in rebellion, where it says in Revelation, there was war in heaven, and Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought with his angels, and prevailed not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. They were cast out into this sphere, the air that we see, we feel. And this is the, the God of this world, which is Satan, is going to be cast down into the sides of the pit, into hell. 
and it was prepared for him. Hell was prepared for the devil and his angels, and those who serve sin are his helpers. They all go down to the pit. The unbelieving, the sorcerers, the witches, the whoremongers, the unbelievers, those who love to make lies, all shall go down into the pit and shall never come back again. Isn't that wonderful? This world is not our home. And this world is prepared for fire. This earth will be burnt up. And God will make a new heaven and a new earth wherein will dwell righteousness. And we will rule with Christ. We will rule with a rod of iron and break in pieces those that who would resist and dare stand up against the Lord. So that's uh, an encouragement that we should be aware of where we live and how we, the battles that we fight. We must, Jesus said, first bind a strong man and then you can take his goods. When you enter in a house, you don't do anything. If you're going to take over anything, you first got to bind the strong man. And in order to do that, we must have authority, number one, to do that. Remember the sons of Sceva in Acts, I believe it was 17, who saw Paul performing the works of God, casting out devils in the name of Jesus, and they decided that they could probably make some money doing this. So they mimicked what Paul said, and they came to a man that was... Uh, clearly possessed by a demon. They, they didn't have psychology back then, so it was it was easier to diagnose the real problem of a person by the manifestation of his behavior. And they went up to this man and they said, In the name of Jesus, whom Paul preaches, we command you to come out of this man. And the man leaped on them, all seven of these guys, tore off their clothes and wounded them. And the Bible says they ran away wounded and naked. So, it is important to have the authority of Christ. And if you don't, if we don't, we are worthless in this battle. We are prisoners of war. And the Bible says Satan doesn't release his prisoners. Isn't that something? So think about it. Whose side are you on?